Hi, Sunshines. Welcome back to our channel, Mad Curls. I'm Taylor Ann. And I'm Lorian. And welcome to another Mad Curls Treatment Tuesday. Treatment Tuesday. <laughs> Um, this Treatment Tuesday, well, first time what Treatment Tuesday is on our channel, this is your first Mad Curls Treatment Tuesday. If this is your first Mad Curls Treatment Tuesday, this is the day, once a week, that we put aside to do deep conditioners with you guys. Yes. So, lately we've been doing the same deep conditioners. This week mm -hmm. we thought we would go back to each doing different deep conditioners to bring you guys more of a variety. Yep. So, we are doing two different deep conditioners today. Ma, do you want to tell them which one you're doing? Okay. This one I'm going to do this week is by Carol's Daughter. I love this one. It's, it smells so good. And this is the almond milk and it's for ultra nourishing. It's, it's called ultra nourishing hair mask. So it's the almond milk one. All right. Okay. And this week I am doing the Camille Rose Naturals, Naturals Algae Renew Deep Conditioner. Mm -hmm. Oldie but goodie. Yes. Okay. So these are the two we are doing. Yeah, a lot of people on our channel have tried that one and they love that one. Yeah. I have tried it. Absolutely love it. It smells so good. Like yeah, it, it smells, does. It smells good. good. Um, Alright, so okay. to hear more about these deep conditioners, watch us put them in our hair and all that jazz, then please keep watching. Please keep watching. So first things first, water. water. <laughs> and plenty of it. I don't know how much okay. I don't know. It's pretty okay. Don't spray the backdrop. <laughs> okay. That's been happening with I've been noticing like I watch your spray bottle really? and you go like like it's missing your hair completely. Is it really? and going straight to the backdrop. I don't know what that is. I do notice it, but I don't know why that is. Okay. Alright, well I'm gonna need you um, to aim it better. Because okay. you've been having gigantic wet spots really? on your side, girl. And I'm not happy. Maybe because the spot is getting smaller and smaller. I don't know why that is. Or we're getting bigger. <laughs> I think so. One or, or the or other. The other. <laughs> All right, what did you cleanse your hair with? Okay, today I cleansed my hair with uh, Curl Junkies Daily Fix. Okay. Mm -hmm. I got my little co-wash action. All right, I did um, co a co-wash too. I did the Care Care Curl Essence co-wash and um, I was testing that because we're going to be doing a video on that line and oh, it smells it's okay. Oh, so good. It smells like almond because yeah. it is almond it looks milk, like almond but it smells just like christmas cookies mine smells like mint i love the smell of almond oh my gosh can you leave me some deep conditioner is it right I we know. don't have any more right is this our last I one i looked yeah it's <gasps> our last one oh, yeah no. oh it's thick yes, i know you guys see what i see and i don't want to be impulsive and cut because i have been cutting along and along when my hair has been dry I kind of don't want to do it when it's wet because I think I'm going to do too much. But like things like this, I would just take a pair of scissors and, and be like that. But I'm just afraid to do that because I know when it dries, it shrinks up. So it is getting on my nerves. But well, the way your haircut is, is it's longer on the top and shorter underneath. So you are going to have pieces from the top hanging over. I think that's what, okay. Yeah, that's the way your haircut is set up. Okay, It's I'm longer thinking, on the top and short all under here. All right. So you don't think those are the highlight pieces that are kind of like No, we'll have to see them again when, you're, when we do yeah, the wash. And I don't see them again as much when my hair is dry. Dry, yeah, because so. those are the pieces on top. Yeah, so I don't know what they're coming All from. Right. But. So this deep conditioner has slip. Oh yeah. Nice slip. Um, I believe this deep conditioner runs about sixteen dollars, give or take, depending on where you get it from. Yep. But, uh, about um, how bucks. much does mine run? Nine ninety nine, give or take. Mine? Yes. Okay. I, I got all the info, girl. Okay, awesome. Depending on where you get it from as well. I was looking okay. online. Like you can get it from each of the websites, Camille Rose website, Carol's Daughter website, or they're both in Target. Okay. Yeah, I've gotten mine um, from Target, and I thought, I, and I believe I did pay that, but I thought maybe it was like a Target sale or something. Mm -hmm. But that's the standard price. All right. Yeah. That's fair enough. Yeah. Yours, I think, is also in Sally's. I don't, I don't know if mine's in Sally's, but. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't know. After that, that co-wash, um, like the, the Care Care Curl Essence co-wash, it has like slip and it feels good in the hair but once I rinse it out my hair gets kind of hard and um it does have coconut oil in it and I just don't know sometimes coconut oils does like funky stuff to my hair it's like coconut oil and Jamaican black castor oil so really so it's how like, does your hair feel like my hair feels like a little bit rough right now so I'm hoping this this deep conditioner will make it soft again because it feels a little rough and dry and I'm thinking it's it's that co-wash. That's my second time using the co-wash, and that's my second time with that experience. It feels amazing going in, slip, all that. But once I rinse okay. it out, my hair gets real stiff and, like, okay. hard. Yeah, I wanted to moisturize my hair. So what's the difference? Do you guys know what's the difference between moisturizing and nourishing? Hmm. They sound kind of the same, but some products sometimes say nourishing and some say moisturizing. Probably, like, the same thing between mask and deep conditioner. You think so? Just, like, 
yeah. nourishing seems more comforting. Moisturizing seems more hydrating and wet. Like, I don't but know. hydrating is a word all on its own, right? Moisturizing. I, I think moisturizing. I think of like. Like creamy and like Emollient, mold, yeah. But like, I think of hydrating. I think of like water and yeah. like moist. Like I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, moisturizing seems like you said creamy. Yeah, and yeah. Then hydrating seems just like nice and watery. Yeah. And just but what does nourishing mean? So this one says nourishing, and I was going to draw. Um, see, I've already done the Clay Russell one. You said in that deep, yep, treatment on Tuesday or something. So I didn't want to. Well, I did want to, but then you reminded me that. I'm like, oh, that's right, I did. So then I'm like, all right, let me grab my other favorite Carol's Daughter one. And I was getting ready to grab that Alakay um, Green one. I was thinking about, they about to see that again because <laughs> my hair was in need of some right? saving. It was feeling real, like, dry and stiff. I know. After that co-wash. Yeah, I know. I was about ready to grab that, um, that Sultanicals pumpkin yeah. one. That might happen in videos. Like, we're just doing our treatment Tuesday with you guys. We might be seeing the same deep conditioners roll through I know, again. things that work. Like, we're going to use them again. Yeah. But I really could go for that. All right. Um, Where's my plastic bag? Oh, oh girl. That. Okay, I'm hurting. Yeah, um, and that's right, because you take your time. I'm going to sit here and try to figure out what this, all this nourishing is. Yours has protein in it. I was reading the back of yours. Um, really? Okay, let's get to the bottom of this. It has a couple different types of protein in it. Mm, let's see the directions. Mine doesn't. Say. Let's see what $9.99 buys us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Take your time over there, Gail. Okay. All right, so let's see. All Things right. are switching up. You've got, like, no hair on your head. Right, that was easy enough. All right, so... I got no hurt on my head and no vision in my eyes because <laughs> that's like microscopic. So um, that's not happening. Um, um, let me see. Let me maybe pull wait, it up well, on what my are, phone. Well, do you have directions? That's what I'm trying to say. Like, These what, things are so microscopic. Let me see where your directions at least. Let me see. Um, right at there. least. All right. There it is. Let me see. Massage gently. <laughs> let me see. You got that so far. Into right. clean. Into clean. Wet, wet hair. hair. Huh? Okay, giving a little extra <laughs> to your love to yep. your frazzled. That's true, frazzled and uh huh. Leave in for five to seven minutes. Let me see, and and then rinse out, right? Rinse, okay. rinse well. No heat. Oh wait, there's a tip. Oh, what's the tip? For extra deep treatment, put on a shower cap and sit under hooded dryer for ten to fifteen minutes. This will help. Okay. With the nourishing ingredient, get deep into your hair. Okay, so we'll probably do that, right? Yes. Okay, so now while you're sitting there doing that, let me see what Webster's, Merriam Webster's Dictionary says between nourishing and moisturizing. I'm just curious. Okay, girl, you do that. All right, so let's see. All right. And let me see. And in the meantime, while you guys are waiting for me, <laughs> tell us what you think it means down below. <laughs> <laughs> Between nourishing okay. and moisturizing? Yes. And I hydrating? Were you guys ever curious about that? Because you're probably not. Our subscribers are so smart. They always watch. As soon as they see this part, they'll start answering what right. it means. Okay. Let me see. All right. Dictionary. My hair feels good, and I know it's going to feel good after some heat. Hopefully it stays that way. Giving though. nourishment, nutritious, 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 <laughs> nutritious, <laughs> why does the mouth get twisted? <laughs> nutritious. Nutritious. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the synonyms, meaning like like words would be nutrient, nutritional, nutritious, nutritive. The antonyms are non-nutritious. This tells me nothing. It's like using a word in the description. Definition. Yes, one time, one summer, I was um, a counselor at a camp, and I was trying to teach the children, because they had like a reading program, and I was trying to teach them vocabulary words, and you don't define a vocabulary word with that word. So, for instance, if I say, what is the definition of cut? They're like, you know, like when you cut your hair? <laughs> like, you don't define cut with cut. You know, try to find like another word for that. So, right now, nutritious is saying um, nourishment, nutritious. Nourishing means nourishment and nutritious. That tells me nothing. <laughs> Not one thing. So let me see what moisturizing means. You know what? Let me go to the thesaurus. That's interesting that it's not a um, a synonym, though. So, like, does it not mean? 
like something similar. Yeah, go to this. Go to this uh, thesaurus. Yes. And see if the word pops up. Let's see. Uh, providing the substance necessary for health and bodily growth. Okay. Milk should be a part of a nourishing breakfast. The synonyms are nutrient, nutritional, nutritious, nutritive. Same thing. Related words are fortified, dietary, dietetic, enriched, perhaps helpful, healthy, beneficial. Okay. Restorative, salub salubrious, salut salutary, and wholesome. All right, so eh, if you understand all of that, let's try moisturizing, what that means. Because I always see that. And I always gravitate towards things that say moisturizing because nutritious to me is just kind of um, a cast-off word. Like, what does it really mean? Mm -hmm. I don't know. So moisture... Moisturizing, no match found. I think they do moisture. Well, you know what? Probably moisture. Moisturizing. I think I did. The, I don't think the source has that, but the dictionary might. Okay, moisturizing to add moisture to moisturize the air. A cream that moisturizes the skin. Moisture to add right. moisture. To add moisture. Wow. So they define. So what does it. moisture mean? They add. They, they defined it with this word. Moisture itself means a li liquid diffused or condensed in relatively small quantity. Hmm. Okay, like words would be damp, dampness, humidity, moistness. So, okay, so think like along those that nature, all right? It's just adding... Okay, what about, um, um, what was the other one? Hydrate. Hydrate. Okay, let's see what hydrate means. So these are the words that we do find on conditioners. What does yours say yours is going to do? Mine says mine's going to hydrate, soften, and strengthen. Okay. It says it brings uh, back your curls. Oh, sorry. Bringing you back to, sorry. Kai Camille. Oh, so, wow. <laughs> it's late, guys. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> it says this. Uh, Camille Rose is bringing you back to, nat to natural by nourishing your dry and frizzy curls. Okay, so hydrate means a compound formed by the union of water with some other substance hydrating okay. to cause to take up or combine with water or the elements of water to supply with ample fluid or moisture hydrates and softens the skin all right so this okay. says this is a, um, supposed to improve hair cell growth stop shedding and breakage deeply penetrate and re-moisturize dry brittle hair increase body and shine okay so mine leave on for 10 minutes and wash with cool water or no i want the steamer one Put it dry, sit under hooded dryer, heated cap for 20 minutes. So that's what I will be doing. Okay, so, for, so mine is for extremely damaged, over-processed hair. Reverses damage, deeply moist, uh, nourishes, and protects against damage. All right, so now we know what to look for. Um, though I never kind of like looked that deeply into it. The I just loved you know. it. Love the smell. The more you know, the better you do. Blah, no. blah, blah. No, just power. <laughs> All this knowledge is power. All, All right, so... Here we go. We're gonna go sit under the hooded dryer, and yeah, see. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do my a legging tack <laughs> because um I need some heat. Okay. Because mm -hmm. my hair is just not okay right now. All right. It's very stiff. Okay. Right. So that's what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. And oh my gosh, we're like twins. I know. Okay. <laughs> it's like we're burning shortly. Right. I was like, let me not mess up the aesthetic this week. Okay. Going very simple. Okay. You're doing very good. Okay. All right. So we're going to go do that and we'll be back to give you guys our final thoughts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Bye. Bye. And when you're back, we both rinsed out our products. Mm -hmm. And Mom, tell them how your hair feels, girl. My hair feels great. It's, it's still wet, of course. Mm -hmm. And um, the uh, curl definition bounced back. It looks healthy. It smells good. It smells really good, right? right? Yeah. yeah. Look at your curly so, hanging. I know. Look at that. That's so, good. um, yeah, it looks. All right, let's not do too much tousling. Right, I know. We're using, you're using my head of us. Yeah, a whole <laughs> couple of the videos to film. Right. Um, I rinse mine out. Mine feels good. Um, I feel soft, moisturized. I mean, this was like an old faithful. Yeah, this one was just like a good one. I mean, they're both old faithfuls, like yeah. standard brands. So, um, no surprises here. You know, they're on and stick around um, on the market for a reason because mm -hmm. they work. Look at my curls. I have a little bounce back too. Yeah. So see, like this is the part, like, like as it's drying, like mm -hmm. you're seeing like the style come into place. So now if it were wet and I just started going crazy with scissors, as it's drying, these parts are like shrinking up and then I would have gone. So though it annoys me, I still don't know what to do with it. So therefore, let me not be impulsive. Yeah. Wait you know? till your hair dries. Because it's, it's part of like the style. Yeah. 
So let me just leave it. No, this is a good deep conditioner that Camille Rose has. My hair feels mm -hmm. soft. It felt really good um, with the heat, using the heat with it. Yes. I like doing I just love using heat. Yeah, and I, I just, just love it tip for anybody new like don't be afraid to use heat mm -hmm. we never did and i think we either watch more and more videos that stress that or we just kind of like talk either during our friday night lives or in the comment section where people really encourage heat yeah so we appreciate that from our subscribers and people with more experience than us that tell us heat is a good thing don't heat. be afraid of heat it's a good thing. Don't properly be done like i always think like a plastic cap mm -hmm. i would never just sit in front of like when we're doing videos and we're trying to get through that and make um like a deadline or try to go to sleep that idea that I keep doing, the sitting in front of this very heavy, heated, this floor, what are these things called? These um, space, space heaters. Oh my gosh. I know I'm frying my hair this winter. I think that's sometimes part of the problem with um, the tangling, maybe perhaps in some of the shedding, because it's just like direct hot heat rushing for me to dry this as opposed to the summer where I air dry. So, um, well, I mean, people diffuse their hair and that's a blow dryer. Dry, and blow but dryers that's a get, whole other experience. Blow dryers get pretty hot. No, because that's the diffuse that that, that great big cap mm -hmm. um, diffuses, like dispenses it so it doesn't just say concentrate. But here I am on the like the heated dryer of the floor yeah. and just like putting my hair here and then putting it. We don't recommend it. Heat. We don't recommend we don't doing recommend what we it. do. Yeah. And this is why we're idiotic YouTubers and um, we learn the hard way all the time. <laughs> but yeah, but be that as it may. Be that as it may. <laughs> so we both recommend both these deep conditioners. Yep. They are good deep conditioners. They Let are. us know if you've tried either one of these before or if you want to try them. Yeah. Or which Let one in the Carol's Daughter line do you like? Because I like the Clay Rasul and today I showed you the Almond Milk one, which is your favorite in the Carol's Daughter line. Mm -hmm. I'm curious to know. And I think Camille Rose has, we have it, it's the, the coconut one. We haven't done it yet, but I think there's a deep treatment in her coconut line. Mm -hmm. And then in her lavender line. Oh, and, haven't then, done it and then in all the, series, the yeah, and then all the around the worlds. We haven't I done know. those either. Yeah, so we I have know. to get a hold of those. Yeah. Yep. But as far as this one, we like this one. We love this yeah. one. This is a good one. Okay. All right. So that is it. Thank you so much for watching. And, and we'll see you in our next video. See you in our next video. All right. Bye. Bye.